back in the day, when the disenfranchised vie for social acceptance, music, art, social status, improved because of quality. Today, cultural assimilation, along with appropriation, has made some lazy. Music, art, religion, spirituality, fashion, no longer recognizes quality. Eastern Europeans born are playing to the uh, stereotypes their forebears abhorred. Colors, desperate for attention, make complete asses out of themselves to appear on self-effacing gossip shows, sitcoms, etc. Finally, when fascists take over, the first thing they do is knock out the media and the means of communication. That explains why segments of America's control freaks destroyed black radio and TV communication outlets. I always have to throw in a political thing because living down here so long you forget. This is not the real world. <laughs> Beware of the happy artist who thinks he's saving the world, often bogged down in turmoil, denying that they're searching for success when finally receiving it. And lastly, this is dedicated to a friend of mine who died. She was a psychoanalyst, a psychotherapist, whatever it was. Because, you know, every, it's, it's weird. With psychiatrists and psychotherapists, they can't handle their own lives, but they're good at handling other people's lives, but they do need outlets, and you know, they have shrinks themselves. In this case, this friend's shrink died. And, okay, let me continue. Elaine, you stood in the corner at the dance, aged and infirm. Your male peers were busy chasing 20-year-olds, grinding obscenely against their skin. This was a swing dance, so the young girls want to learn real bad. So you've got these old cottages in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and the girls are so desperate to learn, the guys are great. And it hurts to watch what, what's going on, and the girl tolerates it, getting back to uh, abuse. Anyway, um, I who danced with everyone saw your loneliness, welcomed you into my arms, you invited me to your Park Avenue apartment, treating me like a king. Unfortunately, you couldn't b buy me with promises of trips around the world. This is true, by the way. I am a Lower East Side street urchin and, um, I, 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 and tried to aid you when, where a famous Spanish architect, who is very famous, helped design part of the World Trade Center, he uh, forced you out of your abode. He dropped cement on her greenhouse. It, she, okay, let me finish. <laughs> I'm getting, this is emotional for me. Um, I tried to avoid you because of your arrogant red diaper baby ways. God works in mysterious ways. You called me to come over and you had a stroke while on the phone. I rushed to your apartment, the doorman allowed me in. I forgot to mention, you always had thousands of dollars sitting on your dresser. I grabbed enough information and then accompanied you to Lenox Hill Hospital by ambulance. I sat there for at least six hours. Upon returning home, I immediately started calling relatives all over the country. Uh, I assumed responsibility when hearing of your death. The family didn't even tell me you, do you died. They couldn't get up to New York, so they let me be the, uh, you know, that Jewish uh, burial place up on 70-something uh, Street, whatever it is. Yeah, and you, you didn't tell me until they couldn't make it to New York. Your clients, friends, relatives probably thought you left me something. I knew that was unlikely because I turned down two proposals of marriage. My instincts always told me that, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. My instincts always told me a piece of this puzzle was missing. I later learned at the memorial she was 85 years old. And you know, that's interesting because this, you get an instinct. You know, as a kid, 
I didn't like condoms. But then, you know, there would be a certain little tingle that you say, this chick is questionable. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>